We've already been through our brand new planner setup and our pre-season setup. Now we're going to establish how to do a pre-field start. Imagine you've just driven to the field, entered the field, and you're ready to work. The first thing you need to do is unfold your planter. To unfold the planter within the Pro 1200 display, inside of our universal terminal and the planter, on page one, you will always find the planter frame operation. I can click into my planter frame operation to do all operations relative to the frame. For example, I will click on unfold, and at this time I would work through the unfold wizard, follow the instructions to get my planter completely unfolded. When I complete my planter unfold process, I would tell my planter that I'm ready to enter plant mode. Not only do I tell it that I'm ready to enter plant mode, but it also allows me to turn on my bar raise to raise and lower the bar in the field, and if I choose to use my row markers if they're installed. After my frame is unfolded and the frame is in plant mode, I need to access my triple bar menu and my caliper to be able to select which of my work conditions I'm going to use right now in this field. Now you see why it's important that we've established these pre-season. It allows me to select which one I'm going to use right now. In our case, we're going to remain on corn 27, all N28. Once I have my work conditions selected within the planter, my next step is to tell the Pro 1200 what work condition I'm using for mapping purposes. Inside of the display menu, I need to access my work condition card. Within the work condition card, I am on the implement tab on the right side of the display. I click the plus next to seed boom to make sure that my drive grouping and linking matches my work condition within the planter. For example, in my case, I am going to be planting all drives linked and grouped at the same rate. However, some of my other work conditions had left side, right side linking, or all drives unlinked and operating independently. It's very important that this setup matches your planter work condition for proper operation. Once I've established my drive linking, I next need to access my operations menu on the Pro 1200 and tell the display where I'm at. In my case, I am at the Case IH National Training Event as my grower. I am in the Weir's farm and I just happen to be in the 42 West field. When you select a grower farm and field, you will automatically have a task generated, which is simply the area where we're going to record the data during operation. Finally, I need to select the crop type that I'm going to be applying. It's really important that the crop type is selected correctly for what you are going to plant. If you recall, my work condition was labeled as corn, and we are going to be planting corn. Once I've established my field information, I need to access the bottom of the operations area and identify what products I'm going to be applying for my seed boom and my liquid boom. For seeding, you can see that all my drives are linked because I had established this previously within my menu and the work condition. The sequence of this setup is very important. Let's assign our products to our seed boom and to our liquid product for what we're going to use right now. In this field, we're going to apply our AS123 seed variety across all rows of my planter, which you can see here. If I was going to run a prescription within this field and I had it preloaded into the display, I would be able to select that prescription here in addition to my product. I 
I also need to select my liquid product that I'm going to be applying. When I click my drop down, you'll see that my N28 product actually does not exist because just before season started, I forgot to enter that N28 product. I do have the ability to still add that product here in case I forgot it previously. Let's build our N28 nitrogen product. My product type is liquid. My application rates that I'm going to apply are 12 gallons per acre and in some situations 14 gallons per acre respectively. I never want to apply my N28 lower than 10 gallons per acre and I never want to apply my N28 higher than 16 gallons per acre. I would like to have a half gallon per acre step rate and in my case the usage of this is fertilizer. Once those are completed I select add. Now you can see the new product that I just built is assigned to my drive one for my liquid boom right now in this field.